rest, I'm gonna hit you with the stick, I'm gonna make a couple rests and you Hi guys, it's Alpha here, and in today's video, I'll show you guys how to make that awesome looking build up slash kill effect that we just saw in the intro. The only plugins you have to have for this tutorial is the Magic Build Lux plugins. I'll link them in the description so you can download them absolutely for free. And everything else will be absolutely without plugins, and that means that it will not lag at all in your DaVinci Resolve. But other than that, let's get right into the tutorial. Basically, just start off by syncing up the clip with the music I already done that, so hopefully you guys know how to do that. Then you quickly just need to have the time map it, right click on the clip, press Redone Cut, then you press on this arrow in the corner, if you can't see it, zoom in. Make sure that the only thing ticked is the retime speed, and tick everything else. Then press on this line that appears and go to the shot of impact. The shot of impact is the fast where you can see the numbers appear. And basically from here you're gonna go three frames to the right. So one, two, three. Press on the circle to create the keyframe. And from here you're gonna go 33 frames to the left. 33. Press on the circle again to add the keyframe. Then about in the middle, it don't need to be exact. Press on it again, add the keyframe. Then this fast pace right here, drag it down to 45. 5% and the second part dragged up to about 300, 280 usually use looks good. Then this middle keyframe basically just, just dragged on to see that this last keyframe is in a straight line with the beat you want to give to happen on. So basically just like this drag. Then it should look the end should look like this. It looks pretty clean in my opinion. Now we're gonna go to the right, add the keyframe to just create a little slow move. And yeah. It looks really cool in my opinion, but now we actually can start do the effect. So basically what you have to do, go to the shot of impact, press M on your keyboard to be done marker. Basically what you're gonna do now, you're gonna drag in an adjustment clip and make sure that you don't make it shorter or anything. Basically drag the whole adjustment clip and make it so it ends on the shot of impact, so the fast marker would put it down. And it's very important that you don't make it shorter. Press and go to the fusion tab. And now go down in the description, in the good description, you should find the Google Drive folder. Basically just download it and then basically just drag it and drop it inside of here and connect it directly. Because there's no plugins for this. That's pretty cool. Go back to edit tab and you should see like a little zoom on. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. Now you can make it shorter if you want. Basically just drag it and make it look like this. But basically what you're gonna do now, you're gonna go back to the shot of impact just to add the color correction, go back to the shot of impact. And from here, you're gonna go 35 frames to the left. So, 35. Right here, press M on your keyboard to put down the marker. I already done that. And basically what you're gonna do now is you're gonna drag in the adjustment clip. And in this case, you can make it shorter. So basically make it so starch on the marker, we just put it down and ends on the shot of impact. And you're gonna go to single drive for the as last time and basically download the magic book look preset. Basically when you download it, I'll show you guys how to import it into the major soul. Basically go to window to your windows, search down here and just search up percentage local app data percentage and make sure that the only person in this folder then this should pop up and you need to find looks builder basically press on that then go to looks then to custom and drag the pieces and drop it inside of here and the best thing is you don't even need to restart the major soul then you go to open effects search up a looks and this should pop up drag and drop the adjustment go to f in this vector go to edit look in your custom folder, you should find a new look called Best Blue Look Airbo, something like that. But for me, it's in my tutorial effects, ju just so you can find it faster. Basically, press on it and press on this check mark. And you'll see this really cool color correction. Basically, right click on the just go to Render Cache Color Bit and then go to Playback and turn on Render Cache to Smart just to take away that uh, lag and it should look like this. Pretty cool, in my opinion, but I want it to be a little fading so basically how we can do that is if you have a crosser over the adjustment you should be, see a rectangle thing in the corner basically take the one to, to the left and drag it just a bit to the right so something like this maybe one third and to basically just create a yeah that like that if you want you can even make it less but i feel like this looks really cool now we've got just left to do the kill effect basically how we're gonna do that is go to effect drag an adjustment clip and make it to start on short of impact but make sure that you don't make it shorter again go to fusion tab and go to single rough the last step and download the kill effects it's to no plugin so it will not lag at all basically just drag this drop it inside of here and connect this real quick it's not nothing like special, just a little 
Ja, zeker. Ja. En ja, als je ziet, guys, dat looks absolutely fire. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to me drop me a like, drop me a sub. We are so close to 700 subscribers. We are about like 40 subs away. So please, everyone, please consider to drop me a like and a sub. On that, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.